Atlanta United Fan TV. I think, you know, we're all happy that we got out of Yankee Stadium with the win, with the away goal, and Remedi, of all people, you know, gets the goal. Yeah, um, I'm happy that Remedi gets out of the game uh, without a second yellow card. It got a little weird there for a second. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, if, and if it hadn't been him, Lerano X was just right behind them. Um, I think that's like a really funny uh, stadium to play at and pitch to play at. Um, funny is an understatement for sure. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's always danger, like with so many people in the boxes, right? Like, I mean, well, that, that was a uh, you know, corner kick, but um, I feel like anytime there's a, like a, a ball flying in, there's just so many more people like that are, that are able to run into the box and and uh, able to knock it in. But yeah, uh, kind of lucky. Uh, even the first goal that was disallowed was, you know, a little lucky. But um, I don't think I don't think Miggy exactly meant that type of chip, but uh, it was kind of like uh, to me like an excuse me chip. But hey. You know, I, I think it's good for him to kind of see the ball hit the back of the net, uh, even if it is disallowed. Yeah, you know what? I was worried that um, after the goal was disallowed that they would really kind of lose their momentum. Um, but they really got back in. Like, you know, for like two minutes, it was like, you know, they, they were just kicking the ball away, right? But uh, but then they got their bearings back. I think... Uh, um, I think a big part of that was a lot of the character that Joseph put into the game, um, and you know, getting getting mad at their uh, at his teammates when they when they weren't you know putting enough effort, um, and um, yeah, they were able to to really get get the the reins of the game back after after what could have been like you know a really bad gut punch, uh, right? Agreed, agreed. No, that that's a great point. There's a uh, composure. There's definitely, you know, some leadership shown by Jose Martinez, and he's defending from the front. You love to see that, of course. And uh, it was his strike that got saved that uh, that gave Remedi the chance to uh, put it in, bungle it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a really, really good game. Um, I also thought um, Remedi had a good game. Uh, Almiron, you know, was great after coming back from the from his injury. Um, the Garza played uh, played really well in the. Uh, on the left, and they were even in the second half. They kept, you know, targeting the right side with him, um, and and he was just very, very solid, um, and really showed a lot of character. Because uh, he didn't play that well in the last game, right? But yeah, exactly, yeah, he didn't play that well in the last game. And well, before the season, uh, I mean, well, you know, during the season in the early part of the season, he didn't look the greatest. It wasn't the most assured, and it was kind of when he injured himself like really fully against the Red Bulls. Uh, yeah, he really just like did his shoulder in. He didn't look good that match either. And you know, to come back this strong, especially in this type of uh, atmosphere in a playoff match, I think yeah. it's yeah, it's really good, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I um, I'm I'm glad that he's that he's back and he's playing there. You know, um, uh, it's way better than the other alternative, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are, are hating on the uh, the alternative, of course. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, he was falling out of form, and I completely understand the, the fans' sentiment. But uh, yeah, in, in terms of uh, this away goal, what do you think it means for the confidence uh, for the Fry Stripes coming into the bench? Um, I was happy to see them sit back in the second half, uh, but I really wouldn't expect uh, Atlanta United to you know, sit back for 90 minutes uh, and try to pull that off again. Um, I think it worked for them in the in the second half, and it was um, um, you know up to the uh, the players you know really showing a lot of character and uh, getting behind the ball, and obviously a lot of that has to do with tactics, right? But um, but for the second half, uh, for the second game, uh, I think I would expect them to um, go out and chase and chase the game from the from from the first minute, and with that confidence that you know if if they you know, concede, you know, something from a counterattack that, um, that they do have that goal that, that they've accomplished already. So um, I think it's good for their confidence. Um, and I, I, I really hope that, that, that they do that, that they use it as a sort of, a, not excuse, but uh, extra motivation to go out and, you know, risk a little bit. Because if they get the the first goal, it really puts the onus on NYCFC, and then they open up. Yeah, and then they can sit back, right? I, you get one goal at home, and then then you can sit back. Yeah, agreed. agreed. Now, uh, I believe you have uh, some uh, some things you might want to talk about. Uh, you know, forums open for you if you if you want to. Uh, thank you. Uh, no, well, I, yeah, I was talking to you earlier about uh, some issues that I had with the front, uh, with well, with the uh, ticket account executives. Um, I, I've been Atlanta United supported, uh, supporter from, 
you know, the day that the team was announced. Uh, and I had a thing where, like, my um, account, they didn't charge it because uh, I changed my card and the number changed. And uh, I there was really poor communication from the account uh, executives or the people who handle uh, accounts. Uh, they uh, never got in touch with me over the phone. Um, and they uh, they never they say that they sent me a, a mail, but they I never received it or anything like that. Um, and when I reached out and I you know I told them what was going on, um, they pretty much wanted to sell me uh, a ticket, uh, a season ticket, as if I you know had just walked up and uh, had you know signed up for the um, for the uh, uh, waiting list like this season. You know, but I've been you know I've been with the team for you know four years now since it started back in uh, 20, what, 2014. Um, so uh, that was really disappointing, uh, especially, you know, because, you know, I've heard interviews with Darren Eels and how he says that he wants to um, really, um, um, you know, have the back of the, you know, the, the hardcore supporters, or not the hardcore supporters, but the, um, the, the, the people have, that have been with the team, you know, from the beginning, uh, and that have been passionate about the team, that have been passionate about, uh, you know, creating a culture and, uh, and uh, you know, bringing other people along um, to, you uh, to really make Atlanta United what it is today, um, so I was really disappointed when I called and they they told me that uh, that I, you know, that they would have to charge me as a newcomer um, because of a problem that they that it was really kind of on them that they never got in touch with me. Um, so yeah, I I've kind of uh, given up uh, because I emailed with the account executives and they were pretty much very standoffish and very matter of factly and uh, not really what I expected. So you know, to be honest, I've been kind of disappointed and uh, I don't know. Like it felt like a stab in the back, and so I don't know, like going forward, like how I should feel about the team. You know, like I, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel let down. Yeah, it's definitely an awkward position that you're put in for sure. And uh, you know, if any Atlanta United uh, box office or uh, you know ticketing people are listening, I mean, please help this man out and other people that are in a like-minded situation. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel for you, man, and it's you know, I, I hope it gets resolved soon. But um, appreciate the time, man.